Here we are at Texas World Speedway for race number six. Uh, on the pole here we have William Afton followed by Jonesy Fortnite. Um, then we got Skips and Mario Mario. Uh, we got Luigi Mario with Jackson Barella. Oh man, these cameras. <laughs> Followed by Sid Highwind, Ryuko Matoy, Pepsi Man starting up front, and Vincent Valentine is going to round out your top ten. As they make their way out of turn number four here. We've had a problem where we couldn't, for some reason on this track, we are not able to do double file restarts. So they will be single file if it comes to a restart. But here they come. Green flag in the air, we're racing at Texas World. We complete lap number one. Uh, William Afton out front is going to sit. Or Jonesy gets to the inside there. Here comes Luigi in that number eight car. Up a third. Mario has been dropping like a rock since the start here. Now red number fourteen. One car that's been on the move, Jake McIntyre in the 91 here. Starting coming forward. Three wide now. Jackson put, puts it up the middle. Down the back straight. Check out the rear of the field here. We got a lot of action back here. Cloud Strife in the middle. Wow. TV1 is awesome. <laughs> uh, we really should have kept our camera crew from Daytona. Because for some reason these guys just like to zoom in. William Afton dropping back now. Pepsi Man up here having a great day. Compared to at least how he's been usually running. come get to lap number six Jonesy Fortnite still out front We've got some high banking here around this two mile racetrack as battle for second heats up now between William Afton and Luigi Jake's going to look to the inside now. Not quite going to get there. Now he's there. Now 
as William Afton drops even farther back. Where did Mario go? Mario's back in 16th after starting in the top five or six. I don't really remember where he started, but he's back here now. Definitely not the day he was hoping to have. As his brother stormed to the front. Now getting passed by Jake as they enter turn one. That 91 car is on the move. That 54 car's got left side damage. Mike Wazowski, I'm not entirely sure where it came from, but we can quickly run back and see if where the hell that would have came from. Oh. I think it was down here. Right there. Shadow gets into him. Now Skips moves up into the p top five. Sid High wins up here now. now Sid's actually going to look to the inside of uh, Luigi there. Not going to get there, but... Richard Watterson up here. A couple guys that you don't really see up front all the time. Some guys you see up front all the time. Like Arthur Morgan, our points leader, is, is entered the top ten. Uh, Pepsi Man, dead last in points, is in here. Richard Watterson's up here. Jackson Barella. William Afton's kind of up here, been up here every once in a while. Skips hasn't been up here that too often. Sid Highwind's up here all the time. Luigi's up here every so often. Then Jake's won a race already, and... Jonesy Fortnite's been having a bad season. Because now he's getting about to get past, maybe. That 91 car is really on the move. Andrew Barella's come up a little bit. Last week's winner. He's looking for a top 10 spot now. They go down this long bash straight away. Down to turns three and four once again. Curious George, who led a bunch of laps at uh, Nazareth, is currently dead last. Not sure exactly what went wrong there. Got a battle for the lead now. Jake took it, and Jonesy's coming back with help from Sid Highwind. So now Sid goes up into second. Andrew now in the top ten. As he got by Arthur Morgan there. on board with Logan Burnett. We were just on board with Andrew and Jackson. We we'll go on board with Jake here too.
these four guys. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Help! <laughs> help me! <laughs> uh, these four guys have decided to um, hold our helmet cam for the rest of the year, so we can see what they're seeing. But oh, is Arthur's coming back, trying to get back into the top ten? As William Afton's on the outside. <laughs> Mr. Ohio. Really fall, fallen off after the first couple races of the season. Not entirely sure what's been going on with that six car. Uh, someone else who's fallen off now is the um, the ninety one. Drop back from second to fifth. Not too much of a drop off, but still a fall off. As he gets back by Luigi now. Logan's in a mess back in towards 30th. On board with Jackson here. As he's watching Richard Watterson and Pepsi Man go at it. Is he going to try to split them? No, he's going to help Pepsi Man. Andrew, back here. It looks like, uh... It looks like Sid Highwind's actually taking the uh, lead away. In the nine. Now, whoever leads lap um, lap twenty-five is going to be the and get those extra bonus points. And actually, here comes Pepsi Man into the top five, looking for more. He's going into fourth. Mario's coming back now all of a sudden. Where did that 14 car come from? Big old group of cars right here. As Andrew begins to drop backwards, Jackson's kind of stuck in this mess. Three wide. Almost for... Fifth place there. Fourth place, I should say. As Sid begins to pull away again. That nine car led a lot of laps last week. And then got turned out of the way by Waluigi. Which allowed Andrew to pass them both after Waluigi had to go to the pits. But Sid's looking to redeem himself and get back up into that. Try and win the race. Ryuko's up here all of a sudden. Not sure when she got here. All of a sudden, a lot of drivers are just swapping out as Jackson and Andrew begin to lose positions. And so does William Afton. And all these other guys start to come forward.
Vincent's dropping back. This pack's kind of split in two. You got this big old group here, and then there's a little gap back to John jo Jonathan Joestar and uh, Goku, who leads this second big group. But Sid Highland out front. Down the back straight. And it looks like it's going to be two weeks in a row that Sid Highland's going to come through and get the extra five bonus points. Him and Jonesy have just pulled away from the rest of this field. Not sure how these two are just so much better. Jonesy looking to get by Sid again. He will. Now, now Jonesy's on, off pace and Sid's coming back. Watch. Looks to the inside, side by side for the lead down the back stretch. It's the nine and the ninety-nine. Three. Oh, caution! Caution is on the speedway. They're gonna race back to the line here. And Jonesy's going to take it off the corner. Now, why is there a caution? Um, something to do with the 24 car. Logan Burnett on board. We'll watch the, or not on board, but we'll watch the 24 car here. Oh, my gosh. Curious George up and over, tumbling down the banking. Both cars up on their side. Let's get another angle on that. So we're right on board with Logan Burnett here. They come down into turn number one. And Logan just turns down into Cur Oh my gosh. Wow. Let's ride on board with Curious George here. Wow. They just come together and Oh, that's, he's in the fence there. The non-existent catch fencing. So lucky that car didn't go out of the track. Curious George. That's going to end his day. Oh, the pace car almost hits the 48. I wish we could have gone, we could go side by side here for our restarts, but it just doesn't seem to work. As, uh, we have a new leader, actually, and that's Pepsi Man. Richard Watterson, Jake McIntyre, Luigi Mario, Arthur Morgan, John Fellout, William Afton, Yuffie Kisaragi, Peter Griffin, Eric Cartman, Marky Plyer, Harry Pooper, Vincent Valentine, Maria Bragnes Marrera, Simon Belmont, Barrett Wallace, Cloud Strive, Stephanie Courtney, Jonathan Joestar. Where did, where did our leaders go? All the way back here. They all pit? They must have all... Our leaders must have pit under the... Caution. But, uh... 
We'll come back to you when we're about to take the green flag. As we come off turn four, pace car is going to turn left, and Pepsi Man is going to lead us to the green flag with 20 laps to go. Make that 19 when they cross the line. Green flag back in the air. Pepsi Man, Richard Watterson looks to the inside. Down into turn one. Richard Watterson, Pepsi Man, side by side, down the back straight. Pepsi Man gets out front, Richard Watterson drops back. Arthur Morgan and Jake McIntyre side by side. Here comes Eric Cartman. Gonna look to the inside of William Afton here. He's gonna get there. Arthur Morgan coming back up. Richard drops back. Oh, Yuffie got really slow off the corner there. Oh, we got a car around in the back. It's, oh, Jackson Barella. Sonic's around. They race back to the line here. We're all going to try and get slowed down for the caution. The pace car is getting on track here. This might cause issues as they start slowing down. I'm not seeing any. They seem to get it sorted out. This group might have a little problem. No. Everyone's getting it figured out. That 21 car is going to have to go to the pits. Now, uh, let, let, let's see what happened here. Uh, coming through this, the uh, off turn two here. Oh, Goku goes just turns up the track into Mario. Jackson gets the ball, Sonic spins down to the grass. On board with Sonic the Hedgehog as he watches this from behind them. No nothing you could really do there. Everyone gets it sorted out, besides Sonic, who just spins down to the grass and is able to keep going. Everyone got light spins there. And Pepsi Man still out front. Oh boy. Followed by Arthur Morgan, Richard Watterson, Jake McIntyre, and Luigi. It's going to round out your top five there. So far, Curious George, the only car out of the race. And uh, we'll be right back with the green flag. Pace cars off the track. They're coming off turn four here. And green flag is back in the air for Pepsi Man. 13 laps to go here at Texas World. Make their way down to the turn number one. Pepsi Man is going to lead them down. Oh, that, what was that? They're hitting the brakes. I don't know what, what happened there. Everyone just started hitting the brakes. Richard Watterson didn't, though, as he's all over the back bumper of that 36 car. The rest of the field now catching back up after... Randomly slamming on their brakes. 
comes Jake McIntyre. To the inside, down to turn number one. Not quite going to get there. We're right on board with him. Three wide, down the back stretch. Into turn three. Pepsi Man backs off. Richard Watterson's going to have to as well. Never mind, they're all side by side down the front stretch. Richard Watterson gets clear. Here comes Arthur Morgan as well. They make their way down to turn number one. Arthur Morgan backs off. Vincent Valentine's up here now. Where did he come from? Down the back stretch. That 91 car is all over the back of that 41. Here comes Vincent Valentine with a ton of speed. He's going to get to the outside of Jake. He's going to look towards the middle, not but Richard covers him off. Some crazy racing here. Luigi's into the picture now. Top four cars are right there. Vincent backs off. Richard Watterson out front. So they make their way down to turn three and four once again. Ten laps rem remaining. Peter Griffin's in the top ten now. Where did that seven car go? Andrew Barella was up here earlier, and she's just... Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. Right on board. Jackson off the pace with damage. So is Logan. But the battle is up front with Jake McIntyre in the lead. Luigi's in second now. Where Richard just all of a sudden has fallen off as Peter Griffin moves up here now into the top five. Luigi's going to look to the inside of, of Jake here as they head down into turn, almost contact into turn three. Side by side, door to door. Oh, Luigi backs off, off the corner there. There's Peter around the outside as something happens with Arthur Morgan there. Three wide. Ninety-one cars pulled away from the rest of this. At least for now, the battle settle itself a little. So we take a quick look through the field. Three wide in the back here. That seven car loses even more spots. Jake McIntyre out front by himself. No one coming. Vincent Valentine is in second. Luigi Mario in third. S trying to close back in on that 91 car with five laps to go now. Jake already has a win this season. Coming at the Daytona Road Course. Luigi now looks to the inside of Vincent. Side by side off the corner. There's a big group of cars here. Barrett looking to try and get into the top ten. He's got to get by Maria here. Oh, no. 
Jonesy's up here coming back after leading a lot of this race. Same with Sid Highwind. Both of them led a lot of the race and made a pit stop at an unfortunate time while everyone else didn't. Now they've just been trying to make their way back up towards the front ever since. Because now all of a sudden Arthur Morgan has caught up to the lead group. Actually, Luigi's taking the lead. Something happened with that 91 car while we weren't looking. Luigi out front, Arthur Morgan. Oh, we got cars around. Trouble. This is going to be it. Whoever leads this lap is going to win the race. Caution is not out. Never mind. Whatever happened is not going to bring out a caution. We'll go back and look later. Luigi out front, Arthur Morgan in second, Jake McIntyre falling off the pace, Vincent Valentine now up into third, and Peter Griffin up into fourth. Two laps to go at Texas World. The eight car out front. Two by two behind. Not a lot of time to catch back up to Luigi. Five cars looking for the battle. Here comes Arthur Morgan to the inside. He's looking for win number two on the season. Side by side, white flag in the air, one lap to go. We got several cars coming off the pit lane. Down the back stretch for the final time. Luigi looks back to the inside. They're side by side. Shrek cautions on the speedway. Whoever leads this lap is going to win the race. Here comes Luigi out front. That, off. Ugh. Obviously, it's the last lap of the race. And it's going to be Luigi who wins at Texas World. As the caution has come out on the speedway. <laughs> Luigi's going to finish first. Second place is going to go to Arthur Morgan. Third, Peter Griffin. Fifth, Jake, or fourth, Jake McIntyre. And fifth is Vincent Valentine. Harry Pooper comes in sixth. Richard Watterson in seventh. Maria Brañas Marrera in eighth. Barrett Wallace in ninth. And Jonesy Fortnite makes his way all the way back up to 10th. Here's the rest of your lineup here. Marky Plyer had a gearbox issue at some point. And then something happened on this on the, during this last couple battles here. Looked like John Fellout was involved. So we have this big group of cars here on lap 48. Heading into turn one. And Oh my gosh, two, two more cars up on the wall. On board with Sid Highwind here. They continued going right after. So somehow... Jonathan Joestar and Sid Highwind riding the wall didn't bring a ca out a caution, but Banana Joe goes into turn one here and gets turned by Twilight Sparkle up in the air, lands back on the ground, and then continues on his way. And that's what brought out the last caution of the race. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add these points up, and then uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Congratulations to Luigi Mario for winning at Texas World. Uh, next week, we'll be heading to North Wilkesboro. Uh, it's not the all-star race, but we're heading there. <laughs> Was there, what, was there two North Wilkes for us there? No, just one. Okay. And, um, yeah, let's go check the points. Arthur Morgan is still out front. 
as he gets another great finish. Jake McIntyre back up to second. Rico Matoy in third, Vincent Valentine in fourth, Waluigi in fifth, Simon Belmont in sixth, Sid Highwind in seventh, William Mafton in eighth, Barrett Wallace ninth, Richard Watterson is in tenth, Andrew drops back to eleventh, and then we go down, Logan is all the way back to twenty-third, started the season good, ended it, or not, we're not done yet, but currently not doing as good. Uh, Jackson is 38th. Jonesy moves up to 39th. Hatsune Miku and Claude Strife dropping back. And then Pepsi Man still in last, but much better finish as he got his first top 20 of the season. Uh, he's improving. All The first four races finished outside the top 30. Finally got a top 30 finish, and now he got a top 20 finish. So I guess we'll see what happens at North Wilkesboro. Uh, next week. See you guys next time. Bye.